welcome back everybody to more Europa Universalis 4 with me Daniel playing as Italy and the second after the last episode ended uh, we got this call to arms so it turns out that Spain and Portugal yes they are both attacking Morocco but they're in separate wars and I'm sure that was the case last episode but I just didn't see it yeah Spain is the attacker in the Spanish conquest of Tangiers and Portugal's the attacker into the Portuguese conquest of Tangiers. So, Portugal and Spain are in separate wars against the same nation trying to get the same claim. Which is... interesting. And yes, we can see them both here, just to confirm, they are very much separate wars. The only difference is the the protagonist against what the uh, well in our case the protagonist in Portugal's case but yes the attacker everything else is the same and clearly we're going to say yes but this puts us in a very interesting position because we only have twenty nine thousand troops on this side we're clearly going to assign our best leader we're going to go and siege out Jared so we don't have to worry about it anymore. We yeah, Tangiers is this province here. And Portugal does have it sieged out right now. Which is great for a couple of other reasons. Because it means, um, well, the, the war score is going to tick in our direction. But the other part of it is that Spain can't claim their war goal. Which is very useful for us. And that's part of the reason why they're a negative two war score. Because Morocco has clearly sieged out Dara down here. And it has a fort. So it's very, very interesting. Uh, speaking of things that are interesting, why is our main naval fleet taking forever to get down here? We're going to have them go to Salento, have this stack move to Salento, because we're clearly going to need our big naval stack. We are horribly out of position, though. I'm hoping we don't have to get too involved because uh, we don't have any manpower. Having said that, we might not need any. Uh, we're going to trade some favours for trust while we remember. Because Portugal is a relatively new ally for us. So theirs was still the default 50. We are clearly not going to accept Austria's demand there. Good luck with that. We are going to join up. We are going to sit. Actually, this is a pretty good location. But I'd rather sit on a defensive terrain. You're sitting on a mountain, actually. That's perfect. Mountain with 37 supply limit. That's the joy of being on the coastline. Our big stack can go and sit in Treviso. And then a small stack of mercenaries. We're going to keep around for now. They're going to sit in Zara because that is a hill. And if rebels fire there and we're already sat there, they'll be the attacker. So they'll get the penalty. Morocco is going to probably try and siege out one of these provinces. Probably... Kabylia, which we don't really care too much about because if they sit there they're going to get the penalty and we just took it out Jared we don't have a claim on it so there's no way that we're going to get given that by Portugal but it's fine Spain I'm pretty sure has Sicilian rebels down here I just caught that in the corner of my eye so that's great for us like we're good with that uh, we're going to move while we wait for the next month to tick over we'll move our big naval stack over to Roma Get a little bit closer to the action. Morocco do have a lot of troops over here. We are going to be outnumbered. However, what are this? Before we do that, go under army comparison. We can actually just click war enemies in this case. Morocco have quite good combat stats. I mean, they have fairly good morale, not as high as us, but that's because we're in a golden age. They have mediocre discipline. They have no siege ability at all, which is hilarious. And no professionalism. But their defensiveness is quite high, so sieging them out is going to be a pain. Hmm. Speaking of things, we want to be a pain. So what we want to do is we want to build a spy network again. Oh, my word. That's a lot of spy detection. We're going to see if we get lucky. We want to try and build up our spy capacity in Spain because we want to sabotage their reputation. So that hopefully Portugal won't get involved.
This is why this war is actually kind of convenient as it happens. And I would think that Morocco is just going to run away. But they couldn't fully run away. Okay, they're not going to. Okay. We're going to have a big number disadvantage, but they are going to get a minus two penalty and we have a significantly better general. Like, swathes better. Yeah, there are some Sicilian separatists. We would love for this to complete. That would be awesome. That would make our life a lot easier because we might just be able to vassal them. So this is going to hurt, but we should still win. That minus two penalty is, yeah, causing them a lot of grief. So we lost nearly 7,000 troops. They lost, what, 16,000 troops? That was pretty painful for them. And now we can just sit in place and wait. Because this isn't our stack of mercenaries, so we don't have unlimited manpower right now. And we don't... Do we have any claims on any of this stuff? No. So Portugal's never going to give any of this to us anyway. I just don't see it. They are very, very seldom going to give you things that you don't have claims on. Uh, do we have... Anything here we want to get rid of? We are costing two points per turn. No, we still want to... We want to keep some of these guys on side. We still can't vassalize Gascony, which is very disappointing. It's just because we're too far away still. So yeah, if we end up taking out... If we can take this province, we probably could... I wonder if it's worth building a spy network to get a claim on Vivere and then seeing if I can threaten them into giving it to me. I doubt they'll do it, but we'll see. As for Morocco, they're getting really, really wrecked. I don't even, like, where even is Mosio? It's down here. Yeah, that's not relevant to us. That lag was, though. Yikes. <laughs> I don't really want to save the Spanish Navy, so I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. Now we're going to come out and deal with it. Because, yeah, we want the Spanish Navy to take a bit of a shelling if we can. Oh, quality wall equals more money. We'll do a building check afterwards. The Mamluks are looking to attack Elodia. We do not want that to happen. Will they accept our alliance? No, of course... Oh, come on, dude. Two in the difference. It would cause us to have yet another relationship and it'll cost us yet another Diplo point every month. But I don't want Elodia to get wrecked. I don't have... Like, it's only them and Medribari... There are even Christian nations down here, and if both of them die, then I can't complete that mission. I guess we don't need to pestulate Austria too much right now. I mean, we have 51, so we might as well claim something. Let's claim Agram. It's in the same state as something that we already have. There we go. We use something constructive. All right. Yep, yeah, Spain still hasn't dealt with those Sicilian rebels. Maybe they will fire. One can dream. And now that we have a free diplomat, I can't believe you won't won't do an alliance, even with your ruler being kind-hearted. What if I send you a gift? I mean, I clearly have enough money to throw around. 25 is the cap, you can't get any more from a gift, so if I send them 125 gold, they will. We have to wait a month, but we're going to do that. This might dissuade the Mamluks from attacking them in the first place. Our peace treaty with Spain has expired. We're going to start seeing a big coalition form against us, because Spain can technically join it. They're not... well, they might, but it'd be suicide if they did. Uh, I guess we're also going to just move our stack over to 
Matilia, Matilia, I don't know. He didn't come here to hear me pronounce things correctly. Just so we can bash the Moroccan Navy. So we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the war. We definitely need to... Yes, I know. Every nation's going to join the coalition. Go for it. Have fun. Yeah, you added. You go in there too, Strasbourg. Whatever you want to do. One fifteenth of February. Come on. Okay. Ally up. The Mamluks might still attack them, and if they do, it's fine. But at least we can complete this mission. So we've befriended uh, Ethiopia, kind of. <laughs> But the reason why I want to do it is we get claims on the Delta and the Bahari area. Which is awesome. So we now have claim, permanent claims in this entire region. And there are some very tasty provinces in here. We're not going to deal with that straight away. But it's fun. And it just gives us another excuse to deal with the Ottomans. Because uh, the game thinks, I think, based on how that quest is set up that it should still be under the control of the Mamluks. But obviously in this game it's not, because we've been quite slow to get that mission completed. Uh, the Ottomans have uh, some revolts going on too. Which again is good to a point. Russia will ally us, which we are definitely not doing. Because otherwise they'll just turn to... They'll, they'll get into the total war mode that I mentioned, where they just go to war absolutely constantly. This was proof, though, looking at our manpower numbers, that we were not at the magic number to, you know, to actually do that. We'll get there, eventually, where we can just be at war virtually constantly, but we are not there yet. City demands seat in the parliament. It is uh, Pavia. Or Pavia. What's your development? 30? Sure, I'll grant that for you. I'm not going to lose development by saying no. That's a terrible outcome. Oh, oh, what? Everything's going on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. France has a civil war. Sucks to be them. Our navy's under attack, which is exactly what we intended. There's an election because our leader's time has expired. He's only 44. He's a 263. We're clearly going to keep him unless his relative is unbelievable. His relative is good, but we're keeping him. So that's fine. It does knock us down to 65 Republican tradition, but that's fine. Not a big deal. We're gaining 1.66 every year. That's pretty tasty. Call to arms. So the Mamluks did attack Elodia anyway. We're going to clearly accept because we don't want the Mamluks to beat them up. I wonder if anybody else will join the Mamluks. How many troops do the Mamluks even have? 45,000? We're going to have to take probably our biggest... Uh, we'll take a couple of stacks down there. Uh, let's take these two. Can we get down there through the Ottomans? Yeah, you can. That's convenient. We don't have to deal with the naval side either. And in terms of naval capacity, what numbers are we talking about? Negligible. I mean, that was one positive of the Ottomans laying the smack down on the Mamluks. We don't have to deal with any navy in this area, really. Awesome. So let's get the Moroccan navy dealt with first. Um, the Mamluks apparently had one galley there that we just sat on by accident, but that'll work for me. Still can't call Kosovo. How far along are we really... Oh, my word. <laughs> yeah, we only have a total missionary strength of 1.5%. That's pretty bad. I wonder if that picks up on the microphone. If you hear a weird noise in the background there, we have several new scratching posts for the cats, and yet they're still obsessed with using the old one where the top like half of it is just cardboard. So the sound of their claws on cardboard is terrible. <laughs> anyway, if none of that picked up on the microphone, that's going to sound like gibberish. But it sounded weird on this end. I can definitely vouch for that. Uh, no, you're not desieging your province. The Moroccan Navy is getting a smacking. Oh, we sank the Moroccan flagship as well. The uh, Oujda. Thank you. Another five. Another five prestige on my capped 100. We're at 100 prestige, which is the cap. And we're still getting plus 1.4 every year. It's ridiculous. 
We've captured two more transport ships. Whoopie do. Um, we're just going to go and sit back in Kabelia and heal up. Their navy is not going to be of any concern anymore. They just don't have the numbers. Speaking of numbers, there's the Moroccan army, mostly. And Portugal's just about to sit on it. So that works. How many people are in a coalition against us at the moment? Anybody in red has chosen to join the coalition. So clearly I'm not very concerned. Very pretty map. How our, naval, how our land troops are slowly making it there. Uh, this 40k stack, we should give it a general because any maneuver is going to increase its effective supply. So we'll attrition less men. He has stopped our siege from being desieged. Which is beautiful. I don't really feel like Portugal needs us any further, but just for sake of argument, I'm going to go... Where's the fort that they have blocking? Is it... Where is it? Oh, it's the one that Spain's on. Yeah, they don't need our help. So I'm just going to go sit back in Kabelia. We've done everything they need us to do, and we have to go help fix uh, Elodia's problems. Grand Captain Eng Eugenio de Saluso has died. Very, very sad. We are making stupid money, so we can we can really go for a plus three, and we're going to go for a manpower guy for obvious reasons. <laughs> Our manpower is severely lacking. We have finally caught a bunch of provinces. Zara is only going to take 12 months to get converted because it's Catholic, so Catholicism is nice and easy to convert, whereas Orthodoxy takes a lot more work. They're a lot more stuck to their thoughts. We're still attritioning, but hopefully not too badly. What's the... Yeah, 0.9%, so it's not too bad. Still, you'd rather it not happen, but... I mean, it's better for it to be a small amount than a large amount, I guess. Sardinia has rebels as well. Interesting. Hang on. Did that say that somebody set a coalition up against the Netherlands? Yeah, they did. So, Clavez has joined a coalition against the Netherlands. That's adorable. The Netherlands is allied to Britain. That's going to be interesting to see how that develops going forwards. We fully heal... Actually, what we should do... 17 ships need upgrading, so we're going to do that now because we're not intending on moving our navy anywhere. We don't need to. Flanders joined the coalition against the Netherlands. And we finally have got over to the Mamluk territory. So we're not going to be able to get there straight away. We can't just walk down here. So we're going to have to start sieging out Mamluk territory. So hopefully Elodia can at just last a little bit of time. I'm not particularly optimistic about that, but we'll see. I'm also worried if they get so battered, they might lose to Medribari. I hope they don't, but we'll see. The other thing too, I know it sounds kind of cynical, but now that we've completed this mission, we technically don't need to keep them as an ally. But I feel like we shouldn't try and intentionally game the system that way. It doesn't feel right. Uh, we did lose an admiral there, so we should definitely recruit a new one. We're going to have how many pips? Between three and nine? That's not great. Oh, yeah, not great. <laughs> We may have great land generals, but uh, our admirals out at sea leave a bit to be desired. <laughs> I think it's a polite way of putting it. Come on, Elodia, stop being complete garbage. Weird that, yeah, despite the fact they have such a similar symbol... Mercuria and Elodia that we have them attacking each other. Very strange. If we could hurry up now and complete this siege, that would be awesome. So it's a level 5-4, I get it, but you need to hurry up.
Oh, but our spy got caught in Spain. I mean, we kind of figured it would happen. We're still going to keep our spy there. But yeah, that they are actively looking for us. So it's not a it's not a surprise. Those Sardinian rebels, though, have made quick work of the island. Spain doesn't deal with that. We might just be able to eat them straight away. Okay, so finally, we've completed the siege we needed to complete. We're clearly going to have to go and chase this Mamluk stack down super quickly. Um, I'm going to use Force March. It does cost one point of military for every province you move, but I need to do it to catch them. Also, please explain to me how the Mamluks went through that rebel fight with the Ottomans, but we couldn't. At least we don't have to chase them now and cost ourselves ad, uh, military points, and they said admin points, but that would be wrong. Anyway, we're going to smack this around a bit, because then we can just run straight back without having to worry about anything. So we didn't stack wipe them, but in return for about 5,500 troops, they lost about 16,000 of them. Can we get there? We can. We can go and de-siege Sober, which is clearly what we're going to have to do first. If you could complete this level 4 siege, please, that's painfully on a mountain. That would be awesome. Like, we're trying to be the good guys in this scenario, and the game is not helping us accomplish that, to put it, put it politely. Uh, we did just stack wipe the Mamluks this time, though. So the Mamluks have only 16,000 troops left. I don't know where they are, but that's fine. A strong army or navy. So we can pick a large navy's our only option, and that just makes ships cheaper. Or we can have a large army would be more beneficial, which gives you cheaper infantry and cavalry, but there's a 20% chance of losing a stability, so we're not going to do that. Because getting plus two to plus three stability, especially when you're a republic, a Republican, especially when you're a Republic, is incredibly expensive if you don't have a hundred Republican tradition. If you do have a hundred, it's still expensive, but not that bad. But when you have 67, your stability cost modifier goes up by 65%. So it'd be unbelievably expensive. Uh, we want to go and siege out Mercuria. Because then Elodia should be able to piece them out. But we're on a bit of a timer to save Elodia. Again, it's not critical if we do this. But it just feels like the right thing to do. Uh, I am going to move one stack of my troops from Rebel Busting to the front lines of where a coalition could potentially fire on us. I still don't think it's going to fire. Because when you look at the nations that are in it, none of them matter. And Spain, while they're at war, almost certainly aren't going to join. Uh, our navy is now fully healed up. So we'll go sit over here because we should be within our coastal range. Yes, we are. Naval benefits. Wow, our naval captains have managed to capture quite a few smugglers in the recent years. And the cut to the state has been rather large. You're telling me we're back into uh, 10,000 plus gold territory. You gotta love to see that. We converted Zara. Thank you. Now we'll go convert Lika or Leecha or I don't know. Place beginning with L. That'll do. And the nice thing is because Elodia is our ally when we desiege a province we don't get attritioned well we would if the supply limit was inadequate but we are good supply limit is 36 yeah we have 39,000 troops but we also have a leader with four maneuver that doesn't make you immune to taking attrition damage but it gives you a bit of a buffer morocco I can't believe how much they expand. Yeah, I didn't realize how, just how far down south into the west coast of Africa they had gotten. Wait, okay, that's de-siege now. So they're not just going to capitulate and peace out immediately. We're going to take out the other Mamluk stack. Because it should be a stack wipe. Do Elodia have any troops left? No, they don't. Are they going to build any troops, I wonder? 
I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a minute. But yes, we'll take out the other Mamluk stack. Here's the problem, though. If they have no troops, the Ottomans could just come and wreck them anytime because I don't even think they have... A, yeah, they don't even have East Treaty right now. But the Mamluks now have, like, basically no troops. Let's siege this out while we're here, I guess. Memory, um, sure you can have open borders because it doesn't matter to me in the slightest. We still only have 12 ships in a stack. We do. So this stack protecting Constantinople only has 12 ships. Now, how far, okay, we are miles over our naval force limit. We can't do that. We can't do that. That would be bad. So let's go eat the uh, Mercurius stack and then we'll break this group of troops down and start desieging all of this stuff. But yeah, our war score against the Mamluks now is positive 49%. So that's pretty cool. Uh, plus 57, I meant to say. <laughs> we'll go siege out Yambu Alba. Very poetic name. Particularists in Greece? Yep. Feels nice to be helping. <laughs> And it is, don't get me wrong, it is incredibly tempting to declare on Spain right now. Because we have a lot of provinces we have claims on of theirs. And Gas Gascony would join, so we could... F we wouldn't want to feed provinces to Gascony yet, because they're not our vassal. But it is something we could do. Speaking of vassal, we want to finally get a claim on that. Now move one day. It's a shame that Toulouse likes me, but they're in a place where it just doesn't work for me. Uh, yeah, we can't threaten war because we're at war and there's a truce. But then we can be like, "Hey, can we have this?" And by which I mean, we want this. Can I take it? <laughs> yes. Hi, Kitty. We're doing well. Thanks for asking. Strong military leadership. Our recent wars have given the rise to competent leaders, even from the peasant stock. We could prosper from their skills, or we could reject them as they, after all, are not noble. Accepting them may upset factions in our country, though. So if we we can just say we want them all and lose stability, which is horrible. Restrict the non-nobility, which is also horrible. Um, or, because we are a martial educator... We can say we must be willing to learn even from our lessons. It's still bad, like there's no good answer to this event. But this option at least means we only lose 10 army tradition, not 20. So clearly that's what we're going to do. No, we can't claim Kafso anymore, that's fine. This is not a priority province for us. What is a priority is laying the smack down on the Mercurius stack. Because then hopefully Elodia will just peace. Will they peace them out or are they a junior partner? No, they're a vassal of the Mamluks, so they can't actually peace out. Interesting. We could invest in the new military tech. We will be miles ahead of time, so I don't think we're going to do that. We could also get a new idea, which we're definitely going to do. So Grand Navy, Naval Force Limit Modifier, plus 50%. And then in trade power propagation plus 25%, so it's just better trading with ships. The naval force limit modifier, though, is enormous. Because before, when we looked at our fleet here, it was like, hey, I can't really get more ships because we are absolutely nowhere near able to do it. When the month flips over... We should hopefully have a little bit more of a buffer. Eh, only a little bit. That actually didn't improve as much as I thought. That's a little disappointing. <laughs> I picked that up, and the outcome is meh. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. Okay, so now that we took out the stack... Okay, they are slowly regrowing their troop numbers, so we don't have to go in and micro un desiege all of these things. We shouldn't need this 40k stack down here anymore. So I'm going to start walking it back. 
to the front lines over here. Prepare for the possibility of attacking Spain again. I, I'm saying possibility because we have no manpower. And Spain does. So we, we want to still tread carefully. We're clearly going to have to leave a stack down here because the Mamluks have not pieced out straight away. Although that could be just as much on a load year as anything else. We can't demand the peace because then we'll just peace ourselves out and then a load will get wiped. So we're going to have to at least leave a stack down here. But yes, I would be very happy if the man looks pieced out immediately so I can get on with other things. I guess you should take that stack out too while we're here. Then we'll run this stack back to Italy's mainland. Thank you, stack. Delicious. And then, yes, back to Italy. Hopefully you don't attrition too badly on the way home. And yeah, if you want to bonk any small stacks on the way through, I'm good for that as well. We are quite literally just running them over. A very pretty mixture of green and yellow that the Morocco is right now. Yeah, it's good to know for the future. Oh, the Ottomans are so discontent in our territory. That's rude of them. Uh, it's good to know that any time that anybody goes to war with Morocco, it might not be that difficult, but the war itself is going to take an eternity just because of the sheer number of forts that they have and the fact that they are on both sides of the Sahara Desert. That's good to note. No, oh, speaking of good to note, France got a province back somehow. Chartres is French again. I'm not sure how long that's going to last, but, I mean, that's good for them. <laughs> Spain still hasn't dealt with the Sicilian rebels either, or the Sardinian rebels. What are they doing? Again, if they break apart, we might have to eat yet another Diplo point every month. But, uh... Might not be a bad thing to ally them up. Maybe we can vassalize them rather than Gascony. I'd rather not because they have nowhere to expand. Gascony is in an almost perfect location because if I could get them to vassal, I can feed them so many things. Okay, so that siege is completed. We're clearly going to have to move back and deal with the Mamluks rebuilding over here, which is unfortunate. I don't want them to go and curb stomp Elodia again. Um, we are very blatantly going to have to find a way to deal with these military points, though. So let's burn some. If we go into development... Do we have any... Rome's not a round number, but that'll be a horribly expensive development. Anybody else not have a round number? Yeah, 27. So let's get you to 30. Like that. Uh, you can get put to 10. There is no, like, other than getting the extra building slot, there's really no other benefits to having multiples of five, and most of these are not going to need all the building slots. But it makes me feel better. <laughs> We're not going to use up our admin points, though, because we may need it, depending on what we get given. I don't think we're going to get given anything, but we're going to wait until the war ends first to determine if we need to do anything. We can also move our ships back, because we clearly don't need them to sit on that coastline. We'll just put them back into Corsica. Still converting Kosovo incredibly slowly, although we are getting this at that 1.5%. For context, Lika is 5.8%, so it is converting nearly four times faster. Reformed is easy to convert, so the rest of the provinces that we have access to there should be fine. Speaking of which, that province is just finished. Let's get them into Istria and get that reformed belief converted. And our 40k stack is finally back. And that rhymed unintentionally. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Oh dear! <laughs> this is what can happen. So we just re-elected our leader. He was only 44 at the time. 
So it was quite low risk, but sometimes even the quite low risk things fall into the bin. So he's dead. And our problem now is that our beloved relative is nowhere near as good as the one that was up before. He's only a 3-2-2. We'd only have one point more than just hiring a generic candidate. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a diplomatic candidate. That will allow us to let our, you know, Republican tradition grow back to something close to 100. Let's see what trait he gets. Hopefully it's not complete garbage because we have to wait till 1640. Oh, wow. <laughs> Strict. Arguably the best one in the game. At least one that we're going to have access to. Do we want to go for another idea? Oh, you know why the number before made no sense? I've got to caught it in the same episode. Uh, we just got sheltered ports. So we, did, we got the global ship repair increase and sh less sailor maintenance. Now we're going to get Grand Navy. Dear, dear, dear. So now the number should be a lot bigger. There we go. Naval force limit 163. I knew, thought something was wrong. Anyway, that's going to go up to a 35 stack of ships. Uh, this is just going to go up to 50. And then that gives us a buffer for the heavier ships. I thought I was losing the plot. <laughs> and the answer is I wasn't. I just can't read. Oh dear, dear. Anyway, speaking of reading, uh, the writing might be on the wall for the Mamluks here, but it appears they're not going to peace out this episode. So we'll try next time. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching the video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care now. Thank you for watching the video, and if you'd like to see more, feel free to stick around.